The hunting horn has fantastic supportive abilities in Stories 2, and I will show you today why you need to use it. Good day everyone, Deus here, and today we will talk about the hidden hunting horn skills and why they are so great. But first, I think it's a good idea to explain quickly how hunting horn works in Stories 2, so let's get into it. Each hunting horn comes with a specific type that you can identify in the skill section. In total, we have four types, and each of them has different skills. Tune has the offensive songs. Melody is the one which focuses on negating status. We have song for utility. And last but not least, music for healing. Gameplay wise, the hunting gun comes with various songs, aka skills, that you can use if you have the right amount of kinship points. What I'll be talking about today are the four hunting gun skills that you can unlock by completing specific side quests. Those songs are Awakening, Negate Ailment, Bloodsuck and Evasion Riff. If you want to know how to get those skills, don't worry because whenever I will talk about them, I will add a screenshot of the side quest needed to get it. By the way, if like me you were confused about where your skills went for the hunting horn when you unlocked them, it turns out that each of the four skills is attributed to one of the four hunting horn type. So Tune get Bloodsuck, Melody gets Negate Ailments, Song gets Awakening, and music gets Evasion Riff. Speaking of Evasion Riff, let's talk about it. It's a skill that costs 35 kinship points and allows all allies to evade one attack each. Basically, it's absolute evasion but for the entire party. Do you, do you realize how fantastic that is? Oh boy, that is really strong. Oh my god! This is easily one of the best tools to let you tackle those tough handgame fights. So long as you know that a big attack is coming, you can use this song to protect everyone from it. It is particularly useful against monsters with AoEs or against monsters capable of attacking twice like Rajong. The skill does cost a decent amount of kinship points, so what you will want to do in general is to manage well your resources to make sure that you can play the song when needed. If you know a monster's pattern well, this skill will make hard battles way easier to clear and your teammates will thank you for it. Evasion is cool and all, but what if I told you that you could recover HP simply by attacking? Yes, this is where the skill Bloodsuck comes into play. When used, all allies will be able to recover HP when attacking. After further testing, it looks like the amount of HP you recover is about 20% of the damage you dealt. This wonderful song will boost your sustainability and almost make you forget what potions are because who actually needs potions when you can do this? Bloodsuck will last for about 5 turns and similarly to most hunting on buffs, you can extend the duration of say the song with the skill Horn Maestro. If you wanna get Horn Maestro, what you can do is, well hopefully you're lucky and get a talisman with it. Or if you're not, there are armor sets with the skill, such as the Kurupeko armor and also the Crimson Kurupeko as well. Bloodsuck is great, but it doesn't stop there. What if I told you that with enough Kinshi points, you could buff your attack, defense, and crit rate for 5 turns? Yup, that is exactly what Awakening does, and it will cost you 30 Kinshi points to use it. Awakening combines three different songs in one package and will save you a lot of time when trying to buff everyone. The cool thing about the hunting on buffs in Stories 2 is that you aren't forced to only use the hunting horn to keep them, since you have the ability to switch weapons whenever you please. So, you can play Awakening and then swap your hunting horn to another weapon that's more appropriate for the situation. It's one of those buffs that will give you that little oomph that you're sometimes missing, especially when you just started Endgame and you don't really have good gear yet. And for our last skill, we have Negate Ailments. Now I want you to picture this. You're fighting monsters as usual, nothing out of the ordinary, but then they land a status effect on you. Yikes! See, in Stories 2, statuses are strong for two reasons. They are very disruptive, and there is no item that you can use to cure the status and recover your HP at the same time. What it clearly means is that most of the time you will have to choose between healing yourself or removing the status. It can get pretty old and really annoying real fast. But once again, Hunting Horn got you covered. With Negate ailments, you can protect yourself and your teammates from whatever nonsense the monster is trying to inflict you with. 
Something important to note about Wu's negate skills is that they don't actually remove the status. Let's say that you've been paralyzed. Skills like negate element or negate paralysis will not remove that status once you have it. Knowing this, the best way to use those skills is preemptively, to make sure that the enemy won't be able to inflict any status on you at all. So to reiterate, the negate skills do not work after you have the status, you have to use them before you get that status on you, to make sure that it will never happen for you and your teammates so long as the buff is active. Hunting Horn is an amazing weapon for both solo and co-op thanks to its fantastic skills and I hope that now you guys will use it more often. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel for more in-depth stories to content. With that being said, thank you very much for watching, I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye! Try to hide it, find it deep inside and try to hide it If there's a way I wanna know, we try to quit your games and now that you deny it